Welcome, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to share some more information about cording, cords, what they do. Okay, so cords are, are an emotional energy frequency that we utilize the, the, that emotion to send energy out to others, and then the others do the same thing with us, see? So when we have cording, it's an actual frequency that we can actually see. Sometimes we can actually feel it when it attaches to our body. Sometimes we can actually feel it. Like, for example, if, if I'm cording into somebody, I can, you know, send my cording out. I might be able to sense and feel that I'm actually touching and cording into someone. And they can also feel that cord coming into them. It doesn't mean that they're going to know who it's coming from. Okay, because it's just a, it's like a sensation, this, this frequency that you can kind of feel like coming into your body or like you could feel this, this energy that's kind of like, let's just say that, you know, that here comes a cord and it comes right in and it kind of anchors in. Well, there's like this little sensation that I can feel or you would feel. Okay, we don't always know what's happening. We don't always know that it's cording and it can be felt. That's what's kind of cool about cording. Now, not everyone feels it. Not everyone's very aware of their body. Not everyone is attuned to their own frequencies. You know, like, for example, feeling something and recognizing, wait a second, there's an angst happening. There's something wrong or feeling something else moving in the body, that kind of thing. Most people don't even have an awareness of that. But cording is something that we all do. And the cording into one another really is about there's an emotional desire. There's something emotionally happening, you know. Um, so when I we we'll, we'll talk about the, the the third chakra and how what that is all about. So the third chakra is basically our personal power. Okay, it's where we literally can feel our own selves in our own inner strength, in that place where we feel potent and powerful. I'm not talking where we're using an emotion like anger or something like that. I'm talking just a a true authentic feeling, a sense of feeling powerful okay and feeling a strength within and also this is where we um, might put ourselves out into the world and the vis being visible being seen being acknowledged being witnessed that kind of thing so when we put ourselves out in the world that that third chakra you know that, that it's great to have that feeling of stability and strength and standing on your own two feet feeling not, you know, like you're not afraid, not, you know, not fearful of being seen, being visible. Okay? So when we are stable in that, that chakra, other people see us as powerful, okay? They see us as being strong or not needing help or not needing things. I've actually had, <laughs> I've had people actually say, Bonnie, you're so strong, <laughs> you know? And in some ways, sure, that's true. But, you know, they're, they're, it doesn't mean like I'm like, you know, so powerful that I can handle, do anything and don't ever need any help. That's not true. Okay. And what happens though, when people see someone as being powerful, many different things can happen. If you have people that are in any way insecure within themselves, okay, or, or feeling they don't have their own inner power, they're feeling, you know, disempowered. And then they see someone who seemingly is empowered couple things can happen here. They, either they want to be like that person or, you know, they recognize that and are really thinking that's great, wishing they had that ability or whatever, or they sense and see that and they want to take you down. Okay. It's a trip, but it's really true. So when we have people courting in, they can be courting in for any of those reasons into that power center. So when they send that cord out, let's just say that someone feels really disempowered. Okay. They feel like they don't have any inner strength. They don't have the ability to, you know, to be in front of people or to be witnessed. They, they're shy or afraid or insecure, that kind of thing. And they, you know, they see somebody that they, they sense as being someone stable, powerful. Well, what can happen is they can actually cord in trying to extract that same kind of power. I mean, here's the thing. This isn't a mental thinking process. This is an emotional process. And when we are emotional, we do things that we wouldn't normally do, especially if we understood what we were doing, if the, how that's affecting people. Okay, But most people don't understand that having a desire, having a want or a need or a hope or whatever, and you're looking at somebody else, 
you're, you can be sending energy out courting in. Okay. So again, people don't really know that's, that's what they're doing. Occasionally people do, but most people don't. So, so we have this person who wants to be strong and powerful and, and they hook into somebody, cord into somebody, trying to get a sense of, trying to be empowered in that same kind of way. Okay. So they hook in and, you know, hoping that they, I want to be like you. I want to be, you know, I want to be able to do what you do. I want to, you know, live life like you seemingly free and powerful. Okay. So there's a neediness happening. There's a desire. There's a want. They can't do it on their own. So we cord in. Okay. This is another thing about courting. It's, I think it's important for people to understand when you are not feeling competent or capable or insecure, you're going to, and you see other people, you will cord into them because there's a desire to be as liberated or as free as they are. Okay. And again, you know, it's not, a, it's not really what we're meant to do. It's not how we're meant to be living our lives courting into other people because you can't extract someone else's sec uh, secure feelings, their competence, their confidence. You can't, you can't extract it. Okay. And yet that's what we are trying to do when we're courting in. Okay. So coming back to someone who, wants to have that kind of same strength and would like to be able to be liberated and free and expressing themselves. So they cord in and there can be an energy energy drain on the person you cord into. Okay. So basically cords can also, as you, as they hook into the body of another person, those cords can actually drain energy out of the person. You're not draining their, their power and strength. You're just draining their energy, their life force okay that's another thing about courting when someone's been severely courted like like for example when you have people that are well known and famous or whatever it doesn't matter their reasons why they could be an actor okay it doesn't matter people court are constantly courting in so what happens though is as people are courting in the draining of the energy is happening and if you get a lot of cords happening to you you know you can feel depleted all the time which is not cool not fun and you may not even know that you're that there's cords happening. You just might be going, "Well, I'm feeling so tired all the time. I feel so drained, you know." And you just don't know why. Well, you might want to check to see how corded you are and where the cords are coming from. So another thing with the cording into that power center, and it can happen with any part of the body, any chakras. But cording sometimes too, like people, for example. So you got a person who wants to be like you or whatever, strong, competent. Then you have people that are jealous or envious or just you know some people just want to cause harm and hurt you okay so they they can cord in from behind which is a sneaky way to cord people anytime there's a cord coming from behind i guarantee you it's meaning whoever's doing that on some level does not want you to know okay and it's also, uh, you know, kind of like a hidden way because most people aren't looking behind them or feeling behind, or even sometimes people tracking energy are not necessarily looking behind the person. You know, we have a tendency to be like what presents in the front and then we see the cords and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's that knowing sometimes, oh, there's still something else I haven't found yet. And oh, look at this. We got a major cord coming in from behind. So now you, so cording from someone who's got that you know, jealousy, envy, or just wants to cause harm, you know, just for whatever reasons, you know, their own, their own emotional angst, you know, we, we project onto others and make others wrong. And um, they can even be afraid, fearful of you. So if they're fearful of you, the courts are probably going to come from behind. Okay. So the energy of courting coming in from behind, again, it's just, it's the same thing. It can still drain energy. There are people who know they are courting and they into intentionally to cause harm and they can even cause even more damage because with that intention, let's just say, let's just say I, I courted into somebody and I wanted to, you know, cause them harm in some way. Okay. So courting in and then whatever that is, whatever desire I'm, I have to cause them harm, there's an emotional component. You know, maybe I'm, I've got anger, maybe I got resentment, or maybe I just want to blame, or maybe I'm just jealous, envious, okay? That happens a lot. So that energy, if I cord in from behind, I can wreak havoc in that person's life, in their body, just by pulling energy, 
No, like, no. So if, that's that, again, people, it's that emotional feeling. So think about this. So I put, plug into someone's power core, power center from behind, and I want to debilitate them. I want to, you know, keep them from having their own power. I want to interfere with them. I'm telling you, pe people can do damage, severe damage to another person. So, you know, when we start to feel like, wow, if, like, if, for example, if we're, all, you know, all of a sudden thing happens, like all of a sudden, like maybe you're feeling good and all, and then pretty soon it's like maybe, maybe within an hour or something, or maybe you were talking to someone or something happened, whatever. And then you start to feel this draining energy. That's, you know, that's usually a red flag. Check to see if someone's plugged into you and wanting to, you know, suck off of you. <laughs> so third chakra, that's your power, inner strength. So people courting in can cause harm and damage. And then you have other people too that, it's not so much that they that they're trying to pull something from you. Sometimes people admire you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people are like, "Whoa, this person's so awesome!" You know, I want to know more. I want to know how they are, who, what they think, how they feel, what they believe. Who are you? That's another way we cord into one another. See, it's all this emotional stuff. There's an emotion behind everything. Okay, if I want to know how how you think or wh what makes you tick. That's still an emotional desire. I'm not coming from a state of neutrality, you know, not witnessing. There's a desire. There's something I want. And that's what courting is about. It's an I want. I want, I want, I need. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay. <laughs> now, that power center, third chakra. Again, if you're having people, you know, courting in and draining energy, and then, all, uh, then you know, again, it's affecting you, but also people can actually try to assist and help you like for example i just say that you have someone maybe it could be even be your mother father brother sister whatever aunt uncle siblings whatever love beloveds and they're they're sensing and seeing that you're struggling that you're you know that there's something going on maybe you're not as feeling as confident or maybe you're feeling insecure or maybe you're having a bad day and so someone who cares about you is witnessing this that desire which is an emotion to make you feel better can cord right in. And what they're trying to do is they're, they're sending energy. Okay. They're, they're, they're using their own energy, vital, vital life force energy and trying to help you trying to pump you up, trying to elevate you, trying to get you to feel better, to be happier, you know? So it, again, it's still the emotion. There's an emotional component to this when we're, we're porting into someone. So the power center, you know, is it's like a, it, all the centers are really vital and important. And the power center is our own stability. You know, it's, our, it's where we really feel like we're standing on our own two feet. It's where we're really feeling as though, wow, I can feel like we can, we can actually, when, our, when we have a nice balance in that um, third chakra, the power center, uh, we literally, when we're walking, the body feels more stable, feels more secure, feels more balanced. Okay. Sometimes when you have a shock, like a chakra, they, and this actually happens. In fact, most people's chakras are not perfectly lined up, truly. I didn't know that. But they can be off to a side, you know, leaning over off to the side, either side. They can be a little bit up down, not quite right. Okay. Different causes, different reasons create that to happen. Um, oftentimes, as the, as the person that we are, you know, most people don't think about their chakra system. They don't think about, you know, that these are actually vortexes in the body. These are actually energy centers in the body and everyone has them. And they, they're like, there's the seven main ones, but then there's all the little ones. But basically, you know, we're not thinking about the chakra. We're not realizing, wow, I'm feeling a little off today. Hmm. I feel a little imbalanced. I'm feeling like kind of a little wonky. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. Is my third chakra out of balance? Okay. So it can be. Like I, when I look at people and I'm looking at the energy centers and I can see their chakras and again, like I'm saying, they could be tilted out, you know, facing different rather than straight on little tilts, little tilts, outs, all that kind of stuff. So anytime your chakra is not balanced and, and in that, uh, the position that it's meant to be, you're going to feel a little off, a little, little like um, discombobulated, a um, little out of balance, whatever. So each one of them has their own thing, their own energy frequency that will affect you differently. But the power center 
again, where, where we really uh, share the gift of who we are. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, when we're, when we're just being ourselves, which happens when we're in our center and we're no longer in our wounding. Okay. So when we aren't dancing in the wounding, the poor me, the victim, the whatever, whatever those windings are, we're in a centered place and we feel, you know, balanced. We feel like confident. So that, that chakra, when we're feeling insecure, when we're feeling afraid and nervous, you know, that, that chakra also can start to vibrate at a different frequency. And you know, that feeling that sometimes you get like feeling um, like an anxiety, sometimes like a butterfly thing, feeling sensation, a nervousness or whatever. Well, the chakra itself can also be, you know, having some kind of uh, vibrational frequency because of the instability of it. And, and when you got a lot of wounding, especially around being empowered or sharing the gift of you or sharing who you are, you know, then that energy can get a little wonky. So when we're sharing the gift of ourselves, what I mean by that is, it's that place where we are not thinking in our mind. You know what I mean? We're not monitoring our thoughts. We're not monitoring what we're speaking. What we're doing is there's just a free, free feeling. You know what I mean? We're just sharing ourselves. And in that, there's just a, a purity that there's like an innocence and a purity of who we are. And we're just, just speaking and sharing. And, when we have to block that, like, for example, when we feel like someone's going to judge us, uh, when we feel like nervous about a situation, you know, about, about being around people that we can't relate to, you know, we get a little wonky. That third chakra can start to get a little vibration and it, we can start to feel a lot of anxiety and fear. So examples of that are like this. When you're around people who have a different belief system, okay, than you do, maybe you Maybe you were raised Catholic and somebody else is Jewish, okay? So what, what can happen is when you're, when you're withholding, when you're not in that liberated state, when you're not sharing the gift of you, coming from that pure power place, then you are withholding, okay? You're withholding. You're, you're hiding who you really are. You're not expressing yourself. You know, you're being cautious, like, oh, I don't want to say that because that might affect that person. They might think something or they might they might be offended or they might be hurt or maybe they're going to judge me. OK, so that power center is also where we're going to feel the anxiety around being judged. OK, that's going to hit right direct in that power center. Someone's going to judge me. Someone's going to, you know, someone's going to find fault and I'm going to be hurt. I'll be in trouble. I could even be killed. OK, that's all that past life stuff that's coming through that that at that third chakra area. I mean, the, the emotional energy frequencies are in those lower centers, but still that power center also has a lot of potency, a lot of power. So when you're feeling disempowered or you're feeling afraid, again, you got that butterfly anxiety feeling, but you're feel, on some level there, you're feeling threatened. Okay. So when we're not sharing the gift of who we are, when we're not really landed and open in that power chakra, power center, then you know, it gets blocked, it gets inhibited. It, it's like the energy frequencies start to stagnate, stagnate, and and the energy isn't just open and flowing. We want that energy to flow, and when it's not, then you know, we, we it affects our our mental capacity. Then it affects our thinking, it affects how we feel, it affects our beliefs. It's just it's very out and powerful when our chakras are kind of shut down or blocked or have a lot of debris in there from carryover from other lifetimes as well as this lifetime. And then two, even though first chakra is life to survival, second chakra is all the emotional, sexual, well, the third chakra is also your power. So when you've been disempowered, shamed, humiliated in past lives, you're going to have a lot of debris in that third chakra. So coming into this lifetime, you know, maybe you didn't have the same kinds of things happening yet, because it will, something will happen to activate that, that energy wound. But what happens, though, is it can also contribute to your own feelings of insecurity, feelings of, you know, not, not being safe, you know, being afraid in the world, being afraid people are going to hurt you, harm you, judge you, manipulate you, control you in some way, enslave you, something, you know, that's going to hit that power center. So that third chakra, you know, it's very, very potent, very powerful. And again, when we come back to people courting in from behind, you know, it's like, it's like um, they don't want you to know what they're thinking, what they're feeling. So it's, a, it's like a hiding. It's, a, it's like a hidden agenda. So you could be around, you know, good friends or something, and someone could be, you know, 
upset with you or, or not liking you because you're so free and liberated and have a lot of inner strength and confidence. I mean, I know it's crazy, but this is really true. People, people's insecurities make them do weird stuff. So, you know, you have a friend and here, lo and behold, oh, they're cornering right behind you, trying to drain your energy, trying to make you feel insecure. Hmm. Hmm. They should begin to question what kind of friend is that, you know, really. And yet they'll look you right in the eyes and, you know, act like they really, you, they care, and you really matter. And yet they've sent a cord in behind you <laughs> trying to knock you down. Okay. So people, people do things and we all do the same thing. Don't be thinking, oh, somebody else is going to do that kind of thing to you. No, think too. Anytime you have had that kind of experience or anytime you have, you know, judged someone or, or envious of someone or wondering what somebody else has, that's a big one. I know almost everyone has had that experience where they want what somebody else has, whether it's material, wealth, maybe it's what they look like, doesn't matter. People want what you have, okay? So courting happens. You know, so coming from behind, sneaky, devious, not okay. And even in coming from the front, we don't want people to court into us, okay? Remember, the only place we really should be courting is from the heart when you're an adult. But, of course, children, babies, all of that, mommies always court in with their babies for till they're about five years old. But after that, it starts to dissipate. So at that point, we no longer want that kind of courting, okay? So courting into that power center, you know, people want what you have. They want to know what you, what you know, all of that good stuff or negative stuff or whatever. But again, you know, it's like being able to just be yourself, share the gift of who you are, because that's really what you're here to do, and not, to not be afraid, okay? So, you know, another thing too about courting is when you have a lot of damage inside, a lot of um, like unconscious wounding, okay? You're more vulnerable because what happens is the more light you hold, the less people can actually attach Okay, because what's happening, just look at that third chakra, okay? So if that third chakra has instability in it, has some lots of past life energy in there, uh, you know, the carryover, you know, and all that, and the wounding in there where you're, you know, you're not feeling completely stable. So you're going to get people too that what that their, their own wounding will also connect and cord into your wounding because there's a matching energy frequency that they're connecting with. And in some ways it can cause a person to feel more um like you're okay meaning you know like like you got someone that's got the same kind of angst same kind of suffering as you do so there's something around that that makes us feel okay well you're just as messed up as i am how you know how cool is that unfortunately we we do feel that way you know what is it misery loves company you know that one so in a sense that's what's up it's kind of, kind of like misery loves company so if you're miserable oh you're miserable i'm miserable like, let's just hang out in our, our misery together. <laughs> so, so then here's another thing with all that. So you're hanging around with people and so many, you know, you're courting into each other, which can goes both ways. And then what happens is, is then you get on this frequency and that cord where you're, you know, you're starting to trash other people or you know what I mean, it's kind of like, it's like you have something that you got together with, you know, meaning both of us are, you know, troubled people most both of us are like jealous and envious with others both of us are judging others both of us have a lot of insecurities so there's that meeting ground that it feels good okay it's like you're together and you're trashing other people or just talking who knows what talking smack or whatever you're doing there's a resonance that makes you feel like wow this is my buddy this is my buddy because <laughs> we have so much in common okay and you're probably courted in Okay, because when, when you disengage that cord, it, it's like, especially if it's, you've been corded in, especially if it's gone both ways, but you cord in and there's all this sameness and then you disengage that cord, there, you don't have that energy between you anymore. So the dance can feel different. The communication can feel different, but it can feel really fun when you're, you know, when that cord's happening. So cording is still inappropriate. We don't want to be cording into people. Okay, so I'm just going to encourage you when you're feeling needy or you're looking at somebody else, witnessing somebody else, or you've got friends or family or loved ones, or even people you don't even know. And you think, Oh my goodness, that person, you know, that person's really stable and secure. Wow. 
you know, people that are celebrities or people that are in the limelight, so to speak. Um, you know, like for, oh, this is, oh, this is crazy. Okay. So for example, okay. So when people want to cause harm, like this is happening right now. And this is that time where, you know, we got two people look running for president, wanting to be president of the, of the country. And I guarantee you, you got probably millions of people or trying to court in to each of those people for different reasons, right into the power centers, okay? Some of them are trying to take them down, destroy them, whatever, make them stumble, make them fumble, make them make mistakes, make them, you know what I mean? Other people are like, you know, trying to empower, like, come on, you can do it, whatever, whatever. But it's still all this emotional energy. So this is one way that we interact as humans in ways that really are about our own emotions. And we're using the subtle realms, the subtle frequencies to, you know, to try to manipulate control or, or to get sway people or whatever. Okay. So, I mean, that's guaranteed happening. Like right now I'm, I'm like watching, well, I'm not joking. I'm so many cords coming to these people. Can you imagine what they must wake up with every day when you have that many people affecting you? I mean, it's really intense. And even having one cord can affect you, but having that many where people are really, you know, in some ways wanting to, either cause harm, hurt you, take you down, or build you up, make, you know, make you popular, make you be the, the great one, okay? So <laughs> in some ways, the balance of, the, of the, both those kinds of chords is actually helping so that the person doesn't get totally whacked, you know, where they got like, they kind of, you know, literally like become where they can't even function because there's so many energies attacking and pulling and inside of them. So, you know, people that power center, it's a powerful place. We don't want people interfering. We don't want people courting in. So I'm just going to remind you, okay, remember, we have agreements, soul agreements. We're not thinking about that when we're in these human bodies, okay? We're not thinking about our soul so much. We're not thinking about, you know, life after this body leaves or this body dies. We're not thinking about those kinds of things. We're so absorbed into what's happening here and now. And yet, you know, at, at that higher level, at the soul levels, you, you know, that, that courting energy, we, we have the ability to say, uh-uh, no more. I don't want I'm not doing this dance anymore. I'm done. So one of the things to do is put that white flame in front of you. This is what I used. You can use whatever you want, but I use the white flame, Holy Spirit itself. It's a frequency like a flame and dissolve so I can release agreements and contracts that I've made with anyone and everyone, even strangers that have been courting into me for whatever reason, I, you know, you got to be clear what it is. No more, okay, I'm not all, no longer allowing people to court into my power center. No one gets to suck off my energy. No one gets to drain me. No one gets to try to know what I know. You know what I'm saying? So you're making, you're releasing and those agreements that you're pulling from the subconscious, putting them right into that white flame, dissolve, dissolve. Then you're making a true statement that says, I'm not doing the dance anymore. No one's allowed to cord into me. And when you start holding your light, okay, hold that light. The cords don't, can't really anchor into the light, okay? So just to know that like on that third chakra, you know, your light is in the very core of who you are, your, your light, okay? So that light, you want to expand your light. So you begin to expand light in, inside of your entire body and expand it all the way out to the, your auric field, all right? And that way, cordings coming, they, they can't t attach because it, there's nothing, there's no, how can I say, it? it's like a density. Emotions have density, okay? Light, you can't grab light, okay? Emotional density, dark energy, yep, definitely cord right in, got it, okay? So the freer you are, the lighter you are, the less people can cord into you. So, you know, do your inner work, clean up your unconscious wounding, clean up all your emotional wants and needs where you're no longer judging others, wanting from others. Okay. So you're beginning to source from your own self and then, you know, you won't be playing that courting dance. So good news is, is we actually have chakra clearing uh, series where we're clearing out each chakra. Okay. So imagine this, you have a, a clearing for a full hour, and that full hour, we're literally clearing out all the debris from that particular chakra, those third chakra. Okay, this is we can do all the carryover from past lives. You actually fill out a questionnaire. I read the questionnaire. I extract what your needs are, extract other people's needs, and then I start releasing, clearing, unraveling all that energy so that cords can no longer be there. 
Okay, so there's nothing for somebody to hook into because you don't, you're not carrying your wounding in that chakra. Okay, so you might want to get in on that chakra series and clean up that power center and, and uh, as well as all the other ones. So again, uh, spiritual acceleration, Bonnie Saratori, the chakra series. Looking forward to seeing you there or maybe just getting that series and changing your world, changing your life so you're no longer courting into people and people are no longer courting into you.